Hi guys, so I'm making this video in response to a video Nisha B has done and also a lot of false accusations that I'm seeing online. Now, I'm not taking away from the fact of how Misha feels. I accept that she is entitled to her opinion and I'm sorry if she feels that that situation was racially motivated. I can only speak from my side of the situation, which I can say it 100% was not. One thing I regret is calling her out publicly the way that I did. If I was the person I am today, who's more emotionally intelligent, who has more life experience, I would have handled it in a very different way. And that I'm truly sorry for, and I deeply regret. But to say and make claims, I'm not saying she is, but I'm seeing that people doing it online, that it was racially motivated is ludicrous. Let me explain to you what happened. There have been an accumulation of things that Misha had done to other contestants and my contestants backstage. She had made two of my acts cry, one of them being on the night that I made those comments. Afterwards, backstage, she asked me, why did you do that? And I said, why did you do what you did to my act? To this day, I didn't find her excuse feasible. I still don't agree with it. I called a lot of people out on that show. White, black, tall, short. It's nothing to do with skin colour. I was protecting my acts. And if somebody does some nasty stuff, whether it be on that show or not, I'm going to call them out on it. It's nothing to do with race. I didn't wake up and go, I want to cause some drama for Misha B because of the colour of her skin. She did some things that I felt I needed to pull her up on. These things were real and they were happening. I was dealing with crying contestants backstage because of her actions. Now, I'm sure she's not the same person. This was 10 years ago. Just as I'm not the same person to call her out in the way that I did. I was a very feisty 22-year-old. I didn't think of emotional consequences. But I can 100% tell you, race was not even in the equation. It had nothing to do with race. These accusations are ludicrous. I owe my life to black people and to black culture, from my career, to the music I make, to my very being, who I am as a person. I was the only white person in my friendship group growing up. My father was raised in Congo and Ethiopia to the age of 16. I'm very passionate about the Black Lives Matter movement. And when I spoke to my friends about what they think I should do, they told me to get educated. So that's what I'm currently doing before I start speaking up and doing what I can. I hope that this movement can put an end to the centuries of oppression, abuse, racism and corrupt system we're a part of. But please believe me when I tell you I do not have a racist bone in my body.